guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an empties video, that means that I show you my empty products and there are skincare, hair care and makeup products and I will tell you about these products and if I like them or not and why. So yeah, if you're interested then just keep on watching. First of all, I just want to start with my hair care products and there is this Argan Oil from Morocco Repair and Conditioner and I've just used this a couple of months and I've tested it out and it's a very good conditioner. It's from the drugstore so it's not, it was not very expensive. I think it was a few euros and it's very good. So I can totally recommend this conditioner to you. It left my hair very silky and smooth and I would definitely repurchase this but not now because I have found another conditioner I will show you in a minute that's better but also cheaper but if you're looking for a good and cheap conditioner then I can definitely recommend this to you. So the conditioner I was speaking before is the American Cream Hair Conditioner from Lush. It's the little size and I just love this conditioner. I bought it because I, I've seen on the website that it's for very frizzy and dry hair and I just tried it out and now I've already bought the big bowl because it's so good. It's, it smells amazing. It's something like vanilla and I don't know. So if you don't want your conditioner to smell very much then I would not recommend this to you but because the smell stays in my hair for at least two days so I just love it and it makes my hair so silky and smooth so if you're looking for a good conditioner I can also recommend this to you and I definitely will repurchase this when my big bowl is empty because I think I won't use this forever <laughs> so the next hair care products it's actually it's one but three bottles. It's the Batiste dry shampoo and I've got three different, the original one, the floral one and the blush one and I've gone through all these three bottles and I have to say that I love this brand because it makes my hair look so good when it's greasy and it removes all the greasiness from my hair and I've tried so many different brands and they are dry shampoos but I always go back to this and the one I like the most is the original one. I don't know why but I just feel like my hair is looks the best when I use the original one. Make sure you use it a little bit wider away from, a, from, your, from your head because if you use it too close it appears white on your hair if you know what I mean and that's not good but if you use it the right way you can see anything and I have brown hair so it doesn't matter. I always go back to this, I love this. I also like the other ones too because they have a very good scent but after a while I, I just didn't like the scent anymore because it was always the same and so I just tend to use this original one but they are all good and I will definitely repurchase this and they have so many different so I think I will try the other ones too. Moving on to skincare products. Um, there is a cleanser, it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleanser and I just bought it because like so many times because I've seen it on different YouTube channels and people were like oh that's the best cleanser ever and they just liked it and I just bought it and the first three to seven times when I cleansed my face with it and removed my makeup I really loved it because it did what it says and it says that it's, it cleanses and it refreshes and it moisturizes your skin or it leaves your skin very soft and my skin was very soft and hydrated. That was the reason why I just kept using it. And But after a while, my skin felt so dry after using this. So if you, if you like this product, don't get upset. Maybe it's my skin, but every time I've used it, my skin feels dry and it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a good feeling. And during the time I've used this, I also used other cleansers, but they just didn't 
left my skin so dry and so I think it's cleanser I don't know maybe it's my skin and I really really wanted to love this because it's not very expensive and it's from the drugstore but I just can't use it and because I can't stand the feeling after I've used it on my skin and so yeah I will not buy this again the next skincare product is this Origins Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay and you've seen me using this mask in my, I think, morning skincare routine and I've used it for so long and I just love this mask because after I've used it my skin always feels very refreshed and hydrated, I don't know, it's, it's not a very strong smell but it smells like roses and and it's it's a little bit exfoliating so perfect if you just don't want to buy a mask and exfoliator then that is two in one and i really love it i will definitely repurchase this the next skincare product is this micellar water from garnier and it's the waterproof one you can see it but it's the one with the oil with this orange oil um, on top and I've used this for so long and I think it's my syrup bottle so you, maybe you can tell I just love this product I will definitely repurchase it because it removes all my makeup even if it's waterproof or very hard to be remove and it removes everything your foundation, mascara, everything and I always use this when I take off my makeup and so I think it's also good for dry skin because I have dry skin and my skin doesn't feel more dry after I've used it and I think also for normal skin. I don't know if if it's good for oily skin, I don't know because I don't have oily skin, oily skin but I will definitely buy this again because I just love it and it's so cheap. The next product is similar to the product I've shown you before and it's also um, micellar water, it's also from Garnier and the pink one, that's a travel size, I don't know why I've bought this travel size, I don't know. I've used this before, I used the orange one and I don't know, it's, I don't like this because I can't remove all my makeup with this, especially when it's waterproof, it's so hard to remove and it's way easier with the orange one with the oil in it and it's good to remove a little bit of your makeup but if you are very if you have a strong makeup and very much foundation and powder and very much eyeshadow then i don't know if, if this one can remove everything or maybe it can but do have to use very much of it and i don't think that it removes waterproof makeup so I won't repurchase this because I don't like it and I just use the other micellar waters with the oil in it and that's good for me and I love them but sorry but I don't like it. And the last skincare product is this energy boosting gel moisturizer with Jinjin from Origins. I don't know if you can tell but it's totally empty and I just love this product because it's one of the best gel moisturizers for summer. I don't use it in winter or in autumn when it's cold because my skin gets very dry in winter and autumn so then I need this extra boost of hydration but for summer that's perfect because in summer my skin is I would say normal skin type. It's so good, it smells so good like orange, oranges I think, yep. And I just love it. It's not very cheap because Origins is not a cheap brand but it's totally worth the money and I will definitely repurchase this in, for summer but the only thing I, I don't like about it is that it has no SPF in it so you have to use a sunscreen underneath or on the top of this foundation, uh, foundation moisturizer and that's the only thing I don't like but Anyways, I just love it and I will definitely repurchase this, so if you want a good gel moisturizer, then I can definitely recommend this. So, <clears throat> now to the makeup products. There are only a few. And first of all, I've got four mascaras here. I've gone through all of them 
and it's the one from Manhattan, the Supreme Lash Fresh Volume Mascara, the Paradise Extending Mascara from L'Oreal, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline, and the Baby Room Mascara from, from L'Oreal. And I just love all of them, they are so great. And I've just recently uploaded a video where I show you my top 5 favorite drugstore mascaras and all these mascaras are in this video and so if you're interested why I like these mascaras I'll leave the link down below to this video so you can check it out if you want and yeah moving on to the next product the next product is a bra product and it's the Catrice Slimatic Ultra Precise pen and it, it has a little spoolie on the one end and the product on the other end and it's very cheap and very good it's the brow product I've on my eyebrows eyebrows now and it has a perfect color from for my eyebrows this was my third I think and I've already repurchased it and so if you are looking for a good brow product then I can definitely recommend this to you so like I said I've already repurchased it so I will to, I will definitely buy it again when the other ones are empty <laughs> last but not least I've got two concealers okay it's one um, it's the liquid camouflage concealer from Catrice in the shade 010 and I've gone through I don't know at least 10 bottles and I always go back to this concealer because it's the best concealer in my opinion. It's cheap, it covers all your darkness underneath your eyes and all the veins on your eyelids. So you can also use it as an eyeshadow primer if you set it with a powder and it's only a few euros. It lasts you very long and it's also waterproof so perfect for summer and it lasts on your skin at least 12 hours. It's so good. I always use it underneath my eyes and on my eyelids and then I set it with a translucent powder or a banana powder and it stays in place it doesn't get into my lines so I just hands down it's best concealer on earth for me personally because it's cheap and good so the best combination I will definitely repurchase it and I think I will use it for the rest of my life so guys, that's the end of the video. Now you've seen all my empty products and I know there are more products that I would repurchase than I wouldn't, but yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.